Hello, Bone Daddies and Rag Dolls. Welcome back to my channel for Halloween. Today we are doing Locke from the infamous trio Lock, Shock, and Barrel, which means Shock and Barrel will be following this tutorial, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel to see the other two little troublemakers. So I'm starting off with priming my face. I'm using my Optical Illusion Urban Decay Primer. Just putting that all over the place. And then I am tracing out where I want the big smiling mouth to be. So I'm just using a light brown eyebrow pencil to do this. I found multiple reference pictures on Google and Pinterest, so I just kind of went based off that. And then I'm taking my Ben Nye Clown White Cream, and I'm going to be using this for my whole entire face, for my chest, my neck, everything. I'm just putting it all over. And I'm using a really dense brush to do this. If you use a dense brush, it'll come out a little bit more opaque. It will go on a little bit more full coverage, if you will. Then I'm using my NYX SFX set. I love this powder for setting cream colors. It is my absolute favorite. We're gonna go in and do these eyebrows. I'm using my Kat Von D Super Brow Pomade and Scarlet, and I am just doing some dramatic eyebrows. I wanted to make all three characters more feminine, even though, um, Shock is a girl, she's the witch. I still wanted to make Lock and Barrel more, I wanted them to be girls, basically. I'm not one to do male characters, and if I do do a male character, I always transform it into a female character. That is just my style. I don't really know how to make myself look like a guy. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to use this NYX Primal Color in red, and I'm putting this all over. I'm not going for a very clean, pretty, precise look. I'm going for a really messy look, so that's why I didn't zoom in either, is because honestly, I'm just putting it all in my crease, and on the outer edge of my eye and my lower lash line. I'm just going really, really crazy with it and really smoking it out and making it look pretty messy. Then I'm gonna add some purple to this look. I'm using my Star Crush Minerals Shadow and Orchid. These are loose shadows. And I'm just adding a little bit on the lower lash line and on the upper lash line as well. And then I'm also putting it on the inner corner and kind of dragging it down. Using my Superstay liner from Wonder 2 Cosmetics, this is in ultraviolet, and I'm going to be putting this in my waterline and also on my upper lash line just a bit. Using the Strictly Vinyl Liner from NYX, I'm going to do some of those little marks, like, you know, Tim Burton marks around the eyes, just like little sketch lines almost, to make it look a little bit more dramatic. I'm adding some mascara. I am going to be adding false lashes. But before I add those falsies, I'm going to do a little contouring um, using my NYX contour, my Pro Contour Palette. I'm just doing my nose and connecting it to the eyeshadow, and then I'm putting my false lashes on. I don't know what made me do that so backwards, but that's what I decided to do. I did some pretty dramatic wispy lashes. They looked cute. And then I'm using this other Star Crush Metal Shadow. This one is in Anarchy. It's a very deep red. And I'm putting it right in the crease just to make it a little bit more dramatic. I definitely added a lot of drama. I'm putting it on the inner part going up to the eyebrow. And I'm also putting some on the lower lash line on the outer edge as well, making it look super messy. Look at the difference in the other eye, though. This looks so much more, I don't know, just gives it so much more. Now we're going to start painting the mouth. I'm using this Mayron, um Prisma, I believe, 
little palette thing. It's a bunch of blue colors, and I just kind of mix them all together. And I'm doing that for the lips or the outer part of the mouth. And we're just doing, you want it to be all the same, like, thickness on the bottom and the top. And then I'm using that same light brown eyebrow pencil to sketch out the teeth so I know exactly what I'm doing when I go in to paint. Using my black Mayron Paradise paint, I'm filling in the whole mouth, not the teeth, but I'm filling in everything else. And then I do get a smaller painting brush and I go in and really get along the edges of those teeth there. And I'm also going to outline the inner part of the mouth where the teeth are sitting up with a black line. That way it separates everything really nicely. Now time to start painting those teeth. I'm using my Bin Nye White Magic Cake Aqua Paint, sorry, Cloud White. And I'm going to just fill in the teeth very carefully. And you wanna make sure you do about two layers of paint for each tooth, that way it is completely white. Now I'm going to do a little shading around the mouth. I'm just using that same contour shade and I'm just doing a little bit around some of the edges there. And then I'm taking my Swear By It palette and I'm using the black shade in this to go right along the edges just to give it some more depth. And I'm also taking a blue shade from that palette and just kind of doing some darker parts in the lips. Make sure you outline the outside of the mouth, just like we did the inside of it, but I'm doing a much thinner line on the outside. And then for a nice finishing touch, I'm just contouring my forehead and my jawline. And that wraps up this lock look. Again, make sure you go and subscribe to my channel so you can see Shock and Barrel. And I will see you guys in my next Halloween tutorial. Bye-bye.